Once a week, the RSVP Yarners come together to make items for local charities. They meet in three locations throughout the county. We have knitters and crocheters. We, don't, we do not discriminate. <laughs> These women are the most creative and industrious group of people I have ever met in my life. I am so awed by, by, the, by, by what these people do. You made this one, Ann? Look, look, watch, look at Ann. Over, under, and off. She can do it with her eyes closed. I joined this because it's really close to home. There's a bunch of really nice people here. <laughs> and it keeps me out of trouble. We learn from everybody. Everybody does something a little bit different. You know. The bump, see this bump in the front? That's a pearl. There's no bump here, that's a knit. I come for more than just the knitting. If I, I can knit at home, but I come for the friendship. We all encourage each other. We talk about more than knitting. We talk about our families, health issues, insurance issues. We just really um, encourage each other in many ways. I kind of agree with her because it is kind of quiet at home. And I come over here and hang out with the girls. Oh, isn't that adorable? Now, most of these women, or many of them, make these things right out of their heads. They don't even need patterns because they've been doing this for so many years that they can do it in their sleep. And I think some of them do do it in their sleep because of the way they turn them out. Oh, oh, oh you did Norma. Oh, wow. And I didn't know how to knit, and when I came, they taught me to knit. It's very relaxing, and you're doing it. It's a worthy cause because it's for the homeless. It was a, a, a donated thing that was only partially done, and she finished it. It's made from a pattern. It wasn't my not my creation, but I had fun doing it. I just came in and get acquainted and then from then I'm working with the group. Where is this going again? To a homeless shelters and hospitals for the baby thing. Okay, here come our latest bags from Schweinhout Senior Center. All of these items are knitted items that our knitters have made throughout the year. So one of my volunteers is coming in and we are going to take everything out, separate them out, and then decide where they're going. So for example, Holy Cross gets a lot of the baby blankets and the baby outfits. And uh, Healthy Mothers, Healthy Children is a project through Aspire Counseling and they want baby blankets. We give a lot of our stuff to Original Pancake House. Every year, Jeff Bullman, the owner, opens up his pancake houses for Christmas and brings the homeless in for breakfast. And he likes to give them something warm to take home. And then we have um, Long-Term Care Ombudsman Program. That's a county program. They get a lot of our lap gans or blankets that their nursing home residents can have. This is my fourth one, though. Two, I think two is already gone. Yeah. And nice. I'm, I did this over the weekend. Um, oh, wow. Wow. It's fun. It's fun. And thank you for coming by to see what we do. Knitting around. Just keeps going around. Just keeps around. Around. Getting knitted. Yeah. Right. Why are you going to Kmart and buy one for a buck and a half? Oh, come on. <laughs> not this kind. You're not. But you wouldn't have so much fun. A lovely group this is. <laughs> we are like sisters. <laughs> To join the RSVP Yarners, call 240-777-2610.